What's up, lovely soul? So back here today with an energy update. And today I feel like I'm speaking to, going to be talking to like two, like two different timelines. So no matter what, we're all one and we're all in this together. Okay. Welcome to the channel. I'm Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually. I want to go ahead and just get into the video today. So when I'm meaning about two different timelines is this, some people feel like they're in hell and some people feel like they're in paradise. But we do want you to know if you feel like you are in hell right now, I have been there. And in hell was the place was I, where I was able to find myself. I was able to find my truth in the darkness. So do know that if you are surrounded by darkness, that you have the light. If you consider yourself as a light worker, that's the whole point. You, your soul has chosen to come here as a light worker, meaning in order like the light, anytime we need light, it is normally because it's dark and we can't see. So you're, you will be working in the darkness and shining your light. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling like running. Do not run from this lovely soul. Okay. I'm like feeling someone running and I feel like, uh, I heard like pushed up in the whirlwind. I feel like you've been, uh, uh, pull back from something, but you keep running to it. And I feel like whatever it is or whoever it is that you're running to, it does not serve you. Okay. Uh, uh, I heard two steps forward, feeling like 10 steps back. I don't know who that message is for, but that message also just came through. And also, I don't know who needs to hear this, but lately you've been feeling resistance and you may have questioned yourself, are you being lazy? I heard go getter hustle. So you're someone who's more, uh, on a higher timeline and you worked so hard and you were in the old conditioning of hustle hard, work hard. Like I like to say slave <laughs> and same way I was taught. So you're now in a place where you're learning how to just be, and this can come very uncomfortable to you. But lately you might have been feeling resistance, especially if you are a creator, because you've been feeling more in, uh, being with yourself and your own energy. You've been catching yourself being pulled more to hermit mode like myself. And in that place, it has been way more rewarding that way. You're really focusing in on yourself and learning more about you and enjoying your own company, finding out what is it that you like, that you love and what don't you love. Just really getting to understand you as well. It's like, I heard it's like this feeling of like student, like being a student to life. Uh, even if you are a teacher, you're also a student to life because you are learning so many new things and we don't want you to become overwhelmed. All those ideas and stuff that are coming to you, I heard big ideas, write them down. I'm getting the feel of like, write down your small term goals, write down like, you know, mid goals and write down long term goals, right? That's a way you can uh, set it out for yourself if that resonates with you, but you're not doing anything wrong. You're actually learning how to just be, which your soul actually understands. And I'm getting this feeling of like time being an illusion, right? The ego always wants to go, 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 do, do, do. And it has a belief that you're running out of time. So I'm getting the feeling of like throw away the shot clock. Okay. So let's see. I also had needing more rest. That's what I also had, uh, written down, needing more rest more than usual. I, my sleep pattern has been, uh, very different lately. That may resonate with you. It has definitely like the whole life routine has been shaken up. So I've been getting up at three in the morning and, uh, falling back asleep. And last night, just tossing the turn and not sleeping, but yet still wake up full of energy. A lot of learning going on in your dreams, really pay attention to your dreams. Y'all and do take these messages, how they're resonating to your spirit and how you're feeling when these messages are coming across to you. Okay. So you've been, there's messages I heard from spirit guys they're coming through in your dreams. Okay. I heard document. So document your dreams is I'd encourage you to have like a dream journal so that you can start to wake up right when you wake up the best you can. If you don't got to go to the restroom. Okay. Go ahead and write down what your dream was the best of your knowledge. Okay. So you're getting messages in your dreams. I heard like messages to opportunities, ideas, messages to next steps. Okay. And I also heard messages about someone else. I really feel that you put out an intention for that message, but however it resonates, go ahead and take it. Okay. You're, um, I also noticed like last week I, I woke up, um, 
I normally don't eat, but I, I felt hungry, so I listened to my body and ate something light. And then from there, I went to sleep cold like three hours during the day. So someone out there resonates with that. So your sleep pattern things may be off. Your body's changing, baby. That's all that's going on. Okay, you're not losing control. I know it feels like since you've had to let go of things that you cannot control and change because you're learning co-creation. You're learning your part versus the universe's part. So you may feel like things are falling uh, apart. Things are falling out of place, but they're falling in place, right? It may feel like your world has been shaken up and is moving too fast. It may feel like a domino effect, just like you're being swept up and moved forward. Some, by, some of you may be resisting these changes and being held or feeling connected or weighed down or tied to older ways of doing and being, and, and that is... Um, causing you to struggle and I'm hearing like see it differently okay uh, it's like the saying like uh don't go against the current flow with it in any time you can make the change to turn around and face whatever it is that you may be running from I'm actually feeling like fighting whatever it is that you are fighting right because you're running from because you may be afraid to face whatever needs to be faced okay and do see a lot of darkness so it's just like moving through the darkness and shining your light lovely soul we all have light within us a core frequency so there's just things there that is blocking your light to where you can't see and it could be people okay but you can start by moving for, toward whatever you are running from the next thing that i um i felt that um that was coming through was forcing nothing has been rewarding for me as well as my body lets me know what i'm forcing and so at this point this may resonate more to higher timelines but take it how it resonates it's like when you feel like you're forcing something, it feels like you don't want to do it. And why I want to do give clarity is like on a lower timeline, like you got to push yourself because you got to push through resistance and you have to push through procrastination in things because I heard get beyond yourself is what you're doing and you're learning how to do that. But when you move to higher timelines, you then realize what force is because of the lessons that you've learned to get to this timeline right so yes we are all here we can see each other but everyone is vibrating on different frequencies someone questioned that i can feel that being questioned okay just to give you that clarity so at this timeline you're it's things are different so when you feel like you're forcing it feels like you don't want to do it and you've been noticing yourself want to pull back in more hermit mode and be with yourself and enjoy your own energy and that is absolutely okay but do find that balance in there right uh i'm here like don't resist too much that you don't come back and and don't want to create anymore because you may feel someone out there may be feeling like they're spiraling down whenever it keeps you feeling like you're moving down and spiraling down find out within what is the cause of what is causing you to feel like you're spiraling down so you can let go of that and continue to uh move up and rise up surrender is the key trust is the key faith is key right patience is key right now so this is some of the things that uh we are all being asked to have right now i know times may seem uncertain for some of you and the unknown may seem scary but your soul actually resonates with the unknown and the only way you'll ever know i heard like if you get them is to continue to move forward so you can see more because you can only see from wherever you are okay let's see what else i had putting put down so that's what i've been feeling lately as well and another message that came through was someone you're in the shift right now let it move you not knock you over so you may resonate with that feeling like you're spiraling down it does feel like a domino effect you are being pushed to your destiny. Hold strong in your energy. So take how that resonates to you. Because uh, like it, it felt like the message that came through a while ago where it feels like you're being pushed, right? When I had said something, you feel like uh, uh, forces are like pushing you forward, pulling you forward, right? And uh, into this flow, like moving you towards your destiny because there is two messages coming through. Work smarter, not harder. Dream big and don't be afraid of your power. The timeline you are moving to, it will seem like things will just fall into your lap. It's very much a time to think 
big, right? Whenever you're thinking small and all these ideas are coming to you, it makes you want to run and curl up and hide. It makes you feel overwhelmed. It feels like it's too much. There is so much within you. You're a very powerful soul, okay? You have superpowers. You have gifts and you have talents and you have potential within you, okay? I heard trust that and I'm hearing like it's time for you to step up and create. Okay, whoever that is, when I heard when you heard the word create, that message spoke to your spirit. Okay, so some more messages that came through is don't fear the changes. The mind has a tendency to want to drop back into the fear right now. Okay, so thinking small, you will only feel overwhelmed as these new ideas flow into your higher self knows your highest timeline, and that's why it's pulling you forward, baby. And some of you are fighting against it. Stay in your heart space. When you're fighting against it, it feels like you're suffering. It feels like you're sinking. It feels like you're spiraling down it feels like you are drowning stay in your heart space when you are in your head drop back down into your heart okay for some of you the ego will uh face a big battle soon possibly all the way up until uh the peak of october so we encourage you to choose your soul because the ego cannot grasp the changes. We are approaching life changes and upgrades in all areas of our life. And so the ego does not like these changes. It wants to cling to the old ways of being, the old ways of doing, the old ways of having, right? Because we'll create the same reality for ourselves if we're not changing up our energy. So be the observer and sit down in the seat of your soul. You're the observer. You're not your thoughts. You're not thoughts and you're not emotions, but do allow yourself to feel everything but choose your thoughts wisely the energy is moving forward at an unstoppable pace and you are becoming your stronger bigger self big fear can arise as your familiar life as you know it changes so as you it's like it reminds me many times when i've uh, experienced new levels and rebirths and transformations right I always remember like, it almost felt like when I look back and realize how far I come, it's like, oh, heck no. It's like one time I actually freaked out for a moment and I had to calm myself down because I became very fearful. Someone may resonate with that. Watch out for addictions because it's already spiraling out in the world because people will want to numb themselves out, will want to find a way of escaping these changes. Push out of your cocoon, no matter how painful it feels right now, okay? The only way out is moving through, not running from it. The energies are no longer supporting that. The energies are supporting the other way now. So move with the energies. We encourage you. And we do want you to know you do have free will here, okay? So it is absolutely your choice, okay? Someone needs to know that message. I feel like someone may feel like, I don't know, I feel like threatened for some reason or feel some type of way. Uh, like, this is my life. I can choose what I want and do what I want. You absolutely can, okay? Whoever you are that may feel that way because you have free will here on earth. The choice is yours. Affirmation. I have everything I need. When you have everything you need, you attract everything, okay? So the themes, fresh starts, new beginnings, rebirth, transformation, independence, relationship, financial opportunities, General success in life, completion of a hard cycle, returning home, exploring and trying new ways and ideas, constant force of energy sweeping you up. What feels like testing times is a part of life's process. Keep flowing. You will see it through, lovely soul. Whatever changes and challenges that you are faced with will lead you to growth and future prosperity. The choice is yours, baby. And I feel like I just want to say you come too far to go back. There comes a time when there is no going back because you know too much. You can always do it, but you got to ask yourself, could you really live that way? Or is it even worth going back when you're already uh, halfway through it? Even if you've already begun, you've started. Why go back, lovely? So keep pushing forward. Signs. Success is waiting. It's already done. Just take a look around you because the universe is definitely sending you many signs in your environment. Inner world changes will mirror and create outer world changes for you, okay? you Many of you are already starting to see your world change. The struggle will end because you understand and learn what you need. You realize you're no longer having to struggle when you're flowing with the current and learning the lessons that are there for you when we struggle when I was hit in hell I struggled because I didn't understand what I was going through I didn't understand my power I didn't understand myself and I didn't understand a lot in that space right so of course we struggle because we don't understand but the struggle ends when you begin to understand and learn the lessons that is needed okay attached to the past let go of what's holding you back anything that's making you feel like you are being tied to the past let it go lovely so I mean because some of you are completing a hard battle uh, um 
major cycle. We've been talking about this even in 2023. And yes, the energies and things are wrapping up. The karmic cycle is completely ended, right? There may be some karmic relationships that some of you are working through. Take how it resonates because if you are actually on a lower timeline, you may be working through your karma right now. But you can see that a reason why I'm using these different timelines because I'm guided to. So you can see this is inspiration for you, lovely soul, that it is possible and you can do it. You see how most people take that path where you got to, you know, uh, the easy way to get it. If you hurt somebody, this, that, and the other, the grimy, greedy way to get it right, which the only path, there's no, you never, and the only way out of that is death or making a change. So that's not the path that many of you souls have chosen to take. So the path that you're taking is paving a whole new way, which many call the impossible path because people believe that what you are doing is totally impossible. You are showing them a whole new way, baby. I'm like feeling like this bright light. You are shining so bright. You really call back a lot of your power. I'm so proud of you all here today. Let me get your affirmation from the self-love deck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely souls. All right. Spirit, what message in this deck? Would you like to share with us today? We greatly appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How y'all feeling? Let me know in the co comment section. Somebody feel like they got to be heard. They want to be heard. They got something to say, baby. Self-express. Express yourself. Let me know down below in the comment section how you feeling. Releasing projections. Okay. Every person goes through their own experiences in life, and I know that their reactions are often not personal. We all see life through our own lens and the opinions or feelings someone else has about me are not actually about me. I let go of the projections from others, especially when they are unkind. So many of you, it shows me that you are releasing these projections that you realize it was never you. It was, it was something you've picked up along your journey. Okay. And you will continue to see that a lot of what you discover was an illusion. It was never who you truly are. The flow is trying to lead you to who you truly are. Lovely. So be patient. Enjoy the magic on the journey. For others of you, projections is giving me this vibe. Like you might have been noticing for some of you childhood things, you might have been noticing these like revelations come through where you've gotten the clarity and see the illusion that that was never you. You never thought that way. You never believed that way. That it was projected upon you. And you also been getting these revelations during like your teenage years with the same things, noticing that that was never you. You actually thought differently than others, right? It was projected upon you. I heard one deep. Nobody ever saw it the way you saw it. No one ever believed you. You might have had some few that may have questioned it because they were open-minded souls, but the energy that was projected upon you was not yours, lovely. So let us know down below in the comment session, okay? So you can use this as an affirmation for yourself. Here goes another one, loving and kindness. I extend loving kindness to each being on this earth. I honor their presence and extend wishes of genuine, genuine goodness for all beings. May all beings be at peace, at ease and successful in life. This love and compassion fills my heart and extends outward with every breath. I actually feel like some of you are learning to see the good in others because what you focus on inside of others, you receive inside of yourself, right? Of course you can see the truth, right? But you understand what I'm saying? So someone may be struggling with having love and, com and compassion for other beings here on this earth. Okay. I'm getting this message that we're all, everybody goes through things. People struggle. People have ups and downs, right? You never know what someone is going through. Extend your kindness, okay, and love. And that may help you see it because you may, I feel like I'm getting this word bitter. You may have feel bitter because you continue to let yourself heal. You may feel that you don't want to give your love and compassion compassion to others. But this is the key, lovely soul. It doesn't mean you got to hang with people, kick it with them. None that you can just extend love and compassion. The other day I saw someone in the store and they looked very down and I could feel their energy. And I sent love to them just for myself. And then I just spoke to them inside the store, you know, and said something to them. But I sent love to them because I felt like they needed something uh, to uplift them, some words of something different other than what they've been getting. You feel me? Okay, I heard God's work, baby. Many of you are starting to realize you gods and goddesses. You hear it? It all started with you. I actually found someone's message the other day on Instagram, and they said, the moment I became a god, Everything changed for me. I became successful. Take it how it resonates, though. Grounded in nature. Nature is medicine for my soul. So today I will take some time to recharge from her vital energy. I set my feet on the land, grounded into the warm, warm embrace 
and support of Mother Earth. I am nourished by the inner peace and restoration that nature provides me with each breath. It is highly recommended to stay grounded, okay? Especially you air signs be floating around everywhere. It's definitely recommended to stay grounded and ground down into and set the intention to ground to the new earth right so you're grounded down in your truth as well lovely souls so we're not floating around all over the place especially as you're receiving all these ideas and seeing all this abundance and opportunity around you I feel like someone's like, I don't see no abundance and opportunity around me, baby. That's because it's where you are right now, okay? So just keep moving forward and you will begin to see it, right? When you start moving things out your way and raising up your vibration and frequency, okay? So I am content. Someone is very content with everything that is going on and they're okay with it because you're not understanding the process, whoever that message is for. So this message right here came from, okay, all respect. I just call him master, but I'm going to try to pronounce his name for y'all today. Okay. Master Irie Akanashe. Okay. You may know him on YouTube. Okay. I really love him and the work that he does. And so I was guided to the message that he wrote on his community. I was guided to write it down and bring it to this video today. So take it how it resonates. So he said, yes, abundance is for everyone, but not everyone will receive it. Even though abundance is readily available. What are you doing to claim it is the question. The key is your vibrational alignment. You attract what you are. When your inner frequency resonates with abundance, you become magnetic. So think of it like a radio. You have to be on the right frequency to catch the music. If you are in harmony with the ideal of plenty, you'll start to notice more opportunities and joys that match that vibe. It's not just about money or things. It's about feeling creative, healthy, loved, and content. The car we saw at the bottom. You open yourself to a life overflowing with richness and fulfillment that you deserve. So take a moment. Go within the ashes yourself what is my vibrational frequency right now so someone really needed that clarity and confirmation today so that is the message that came through thank you master aria kanashe and i did my best or respect if i chopped your name up a bit but i did my best with it okay all respect and i appreciate that message to be able to share with the lovely souls today let's see what divine masters have a message for us today lovely soul okay you are becoming your bigger stronger self baby okay you're starting to realize that there is more power in you than you ever knew, right? Every time you thought you couldn't get through something, you still did. Every time you felt like you wanted to give up, you still broke through. Look at you. You continue to do what it do. Be proud of yourself. Many of you who wrapped up a whole entire chapter of cycle, stand on top of that mountain. If you're not, you will be. Look at enjoy the sight for a little bit. Enjoy the view because what matters the most, as you can see on top of that mountain, because I'm sure you stood on mountains before and you'll continue to meet the peak of the mountains, right? But what matters the most was the climb. It was all about what it took to get there it was all about the work that you've done to get here so those of you who resonate with being on lower timelines just beginning your journey look check it out it is worth it baby it is absolutely worth every bit of that climb right so do be proud of yourself integrate your lessons right and um begin to learn something new learn something new to someone out there try something in a new way uh, I heard push out more ideas that are coming to you. Try them, create them. Even if you're scared and makes you uncomfortable, you have more potential than you absolutely know. You're capable more than you ever know. But the only way to know is by doing, stepping into it, okay? So do do move at the beat of your own drum and what your source is telling you. But these messages will resonate with you. All right, spirit. What divine master would like to come through and share a message here with us today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Horus. Manifestation vortex. Belief makes manifest. Thoughts attract and create. Check it out. I'm not getting eagle vibes, man. You saw at the top. I just said that many of you are at the top of the mountain. You're about to be. You got a bird's eye view. You can see what you used to couldn't see. You can see you what you used to couldn't see. You got a bird's eye view. You're not tripping though, right? And the veil has lifted from you. You can see what you used to couldn't see. Check it out. Let's go deeper into what Horus has to tell us about the manifestation vortex because it is definitely a powerful time to manifest, baby. No matter what you are experiencing and whatever you are going through, it's all happening for you. We are all exactly where we are meant to be, okay? And you are getting ready for what is next to come in your life. You're always getting ready by embodying that energy, okay? So 
Horus is one of the earliest and most respected of the Egyptian deities. He is famous for his hawk head and is known as the Lord of the sky. It's a hawk, but it definitely give me eye, the eagle. So I'm going to do take that message. The Egyptian word her or her from which he name is derived means high one. <laughs> indicating that he is a cosmic sky god. The eye of Horus has been adopted has been adopted the world over as a symbol of protection and guidance. And Horus himself is a highly protective guiding force. Horus is the keeper of the cosmic gateway and a powerful energetic portal of vortex through which we can connect to the hidden realms. This energetic space helps us reclaim the lost wisdom of our soul and connect to the power of the stars. When we work with this energy, we awaken the parts of ourselves that have the ability to create, manifest, and attract. I'm getting the vibe of spider webs. You might have noticed spider webs on your car, in your house. You might even notice a spider hanging on you. And that spider is teaching you that you are becoming more self-aware. That uh, how to create a web, like a world from within you using what you already have inside of you. I heard like fortune and uh, balance and harmony. Okay, your message. You are deeply connected to the universe at this time and held in the manifestation vortex. Your divine guidance is to spend time thinking, feeling, and experiencing the energies connected to your wildest dreams because this is a powerful time to cement the energies of limitation and fully stand in your power. If you have been driving an intention or working on a pro particular project, consider what is the best outcome because the power of the stars is with you now. Be open to listening within as the universe is offering you guidance on the next step. Stay highly attuned to their thoughts and also to the energies you associate with at this time for you are being guided to stay as high vibrational as possible in order to usher in opportunities and support. The power of the cosmo is in you now. Create, attract, manifest check it out lovely so and i'm getting this message of like the best possible outcome like if you may have two so things you're working on and like you don't know the outcome but what do you think which one is the best possible outcome choose that one if you are struggling with the choice okay hey take it how it resonates lady venus okay light activation call the power power surge earth mission fire baby um this definitely reminds me of uh i think the eclipse may be in Libra on March 25th. Okay. And Libra is in, uh, come from the planet of Venus. Jesus is in the house acts of service. When you serve the universe serves you. Okay. Get into the flow in all aspects of your life. Another way of getting into the flow is creating. Hilarion says divine emergence, be seen and let the world know your gifts. Check it out. All the messages are coming straight through just for you. Lovely soul. Okay. So a uh, miraculous moment, harmony surrounds you and expect miracles, baby. Expect miracles. And some of you are experiencing a breakthrough moment. Okay. So push through and you're a resilient spirit. So earth connection, stay rooted in trust and faith. There goes a confirmation of being grounded in your truth, lovely soul. Okay. Things are aligning and, uh, we encourage you to pay attention to the signs. You may have been even seeing 1818 for some of you, or you will begin to see this. Okay. Some of you are beginning to see all the climbing is worth it, baby. Soon, if not already, you're going to be standing on the top of that mountain seeing clearly getting ready to receive as well as getting ready to lay out the, the foundation so you can build, baby. Um, uh, expansion, right? Evolution. Those are the words that are coming through. So great things are in store. Remember, no matter what it looks like. I heard like what came out the tip of my tongue, your reality is breaking apart for a new reality to a mirror from within you. That's exactly what I just heard at the tip of my tongue. So there may be a uh, much needed shakeup that occur in your life and it can come into clear thoughts. Your mind, it can change up your whole routine, right? Uh, it can move you, move you forward. Don't hold on. The most common thing we want to do when things are like this is more I heard like quantum leap and quantum jumping. It's like, we want to hold on. The most best thing to do is let go. This will help you move forward. Okay. These thoughts could have been linked to like lack and poverty or outdated, outmoded. Those, those are old thoughts that were leaving out because you've already done the work. Okay. These also thoughts that kept you overthinking. Um, I'm hearing like self doubt, creating self doubt. 
Okay, and some of you may be even fear, uh, experiencing or fearing because it came out self doubt right now. No matter where you are, you may be feeling like you are doubting yourself, like you're not ready for this, that you can't do this, that this is too much, this is too overwhelming, and you're talking yourself out of it. So change all those words up and change change them up in a way to possibly motivate you, or, or you know, uh, of course, discipline words more than motivation. But change up the words to change how you feel. That's the word that I'm looking from. Because some of you may, uh, some of you here may be feeling like you're at a crossroads. You're feeling like. You're in between, okay, between the old and the new at a crossroads right now, okay? I feel like many of us are in this in-between stage, right, no matter where we are, okay? There is a new beginning, and there may be some sort of decision that's needed to be made to move forward. Choose, and the message just previously came out that may be tied to that. We remind you that you can always ask source for help. Show me my next step. Show me an opportunity. And we also remind you that opportunities come in many forms, so don't get caught up on what it should look like. Be present and open to receive so that you do not miss. Present, open to receive, and aware so that you do not miss the opportunity that is coming to you. I feel like some of you, the opportunity is there. You're overlooking it. I'm thinking, I like to say when you think of God, think simple. Okay, when you think of God, think simple. There is a possibility it may feel scary to you. Okay, um, anytime I feel like I'm gonna go back to anytime it feels like anytime you level up and you're in a new space, start to notice these patterns. It may feel a little bit to push yourself, like as far as like uh, move forward until it take that first step. You may feel like you don't know what that first step is. You may feel like you're not feeling passion and stuff like that, right? So do start to notice the pattern so you can be able to know where you are as you are leveling up. And you always know this as well as many of you who are teachers and guides will know how to teach others. So pay attention. I encourage you to uh, what's going on in your life so you'll start to notice that. And a lot of times when you're on a new level, you feel fear. And you may feel scared, right? Because you may be asked to, uh, your guys may be giving you an opportunity that you feel that you are not ready for and it makes you totally uncomfortable. But remember, discomfort and uncomfortableness means you're on the path to grow. So step into it. It's just new or totally outside your comfort zone, but things are aligning for you. Many of you guys here today want abundance in your life. And the key is to tune into abundance and become the embodiment. If you tune into fear and lack and scarcity and drama and gossip, that's what you embody in. So whatever we tune into, to is what grows in our life. Someone here has recently been experiencing a rebirth and it feels like you lost a part of you. You did. A new you is being reborn and in a transition right now. How many of you, let me know in the comment section, are in a transition right now, getting to know this new you, baby, this new, more abundant you, right? You are being guided. Hold on. You are being guided to do things differently than before. And that may make you feel like you're walking on eggshells and it may connect into some little bit of perfection that makes you feel like you have to be perfect, per, uh, perfect, just be you, lovely soul. And you may feel a bit confused. Listen to your heart and release what you cannot control. Release what you cannot change. Release the need to know all the answers, okay? Work through what you are feeling and work in the space that you are in. Own it, baby. Be patient because everything is working for you. You have come too far to go back. And at this time, positive energies are working in your favor to ensure you get the best success that is coming, okay? Your higher self knows your highest timeline. If you are one to call in your highest timeline, you can say, but don't do this unless you're ready to quantum jump. And, and if it feels like this is something you want, you're ready to do, you're ready to move with it, right? You can say, I am the highest version of myself right now. I am the most healthiest, the most wealthiest, the most loving and lovable version of myself right now. And you can say that and you will start to see stuff shift and move in your life. You can call it on just to go ahead and move you. Okay. Someone needed that message out there. So continue to work through what you're going through and work in the space that you are in. I think that came across from one of the, the, uh, the master's cards a while ago. Okay. So you are being supported and you're being asked to move in the direction of abundance, success, and pure price, prosperity to trust the unknown, to trust the uncertainty. Someone here, something is about to change in your life and it's for you. And you will find that what is waiting for you, whatever it is, will be waiting for you. Flow with it. Do not be afraid of it. Do not be scared of it. Keep a positive mindset 
as the Divine Master card came out a while ago. It's important to keep your vibe high. Keep a positive mindset and don't fall back into old patterns. Be mindful of old patterns and old ways of being, especially if you notice them and that's the thing that's causing you to feel like you're spiraling down. Be mindful of these patterns because the ego will try to want to uh, like stay in the place of what's familiar. And even though it's all crashing down, right? Because I think all last week, all I kept seeing was Usher, let it burn type stuff. You feel me? Because <laughs> that's all I kept seeing every time I was moving. Like things behind me felt like it was just burning down. Okay, so nurture yourself and keep your energy vibe. Keep your high vibe and keep your energy clear. It feels like things are moving fast. Trust the universe plan for you. You can also use a what ifs uh to help be like, what if it all works out for me? You know, what if it leads me to every uh, exactly where I'm supposed to be and everything I ever wanted? So that you can open up these possibilities in your mind and not block them with, what if it doesn't work? What if it does this? What like in a negative way that will block off these infinite possibilities? Okay, I heard like your mind is being open to like pure like magic and uh, miracles, right? Do know how powerful the most high God of the universe is. Like things can change overnight, and that will mean those who have been doing the work for some time now, wherever you are, whatever that divine timing is for you. Do not fall back into those old patterns. Do not fall back into them. Nurture yourself, love yourself, tell yourself you are safe, that you're okay. And you know, ride the wave and be okay with your feeling and not giving it a meaning, but double down on your rituals and really look after yourself and take care of you and really sway inside to side letting your inner child know that you are safe that you're okay because you are in um when you're uncomfortable it's very good to just nurture yourself nurture that inner child okay it feels like things are moving very fast so trust the universe's plan for you there may be some short-term challenges ahead but there ain't nothing you can't get through because you're moving ahead baby this is our energy update today let's get into this i like there's a protective Light is surrounding you. You are safe. Check it out. This is the car that's staring at me. There is a, it says, protective light is surrounding you. You are safe. Look at that. Know that you are safe. Believe that you are safe. Look at the bottom of the deck. Miracle, baby. Let's see what messages in this deck that Spirit has to share with us today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. What messages would you like to share with us? I appreciate you. There could be any blocks or anything. Let's see what comes through. Look, baby, persevere persevere look i said earlier look at that butterfly come out of your cocoon no matter how painful it may feel push out of your cocoon there is a bigger stronger more you being born baby persevere perseverance destiny look at that look at that i said that look at that spirit is leading you to your destiny look balance dark and light energies harmony baby i'm hearing like divine union coming through like masculine and feminine coming back as oneness that's what i'm feeling up in here today y'all let me find out baby look somebody is in a space where it's dead done and over when you feel like you're stuck there is no way out that's because whatever you're doing is dead done and over with finito is done move in another direction and let that go. You'll know, look, some of you are bittersweet. You'll know exactly how that message resonates to you. And look, some of you have been on isolation. Check it out. And, and I heard some of you been on isolation is getting to know yourself more. No matter what timeline you're on, baby, keep the faith. Keep the faith, okay? Let's get into a healing message there for you. And we're going to pull from a couple more decks and we're going to end the reading. Let me know down below. But, but no. Let me know down below what you're feeling. Let me know some experience of yours if you feel free to share. I appreciate you. Let me know down in the comment section. Okay, we are all in this together. We are all one. All right. One message from the healing deck or messages from the healing deck for the lovely souls here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy Trinity, baby. Open to the universe. I am discovering my worth and my abilities. I have confidence in my value and my potential. I reclaim my inner power. I accept and love myself completely. Thus, I am open to the divine light of the universe. There goes an affirmation, baby. Open to the universe. It's even green like the heart chakra, baby. Okay, I heard love portal. Freedom. I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment, and guilt. So I work to free myself of darkness. I cast off negative thoughts, find peace in my heart, and discover the being of light within me. Check it out. All the confirmations coming through in this freedom. Use these as affirmations. What is resonating with your soul and gratitude, baby. Don't ever forget it. I'm aware of the light in my life. I direct my thoughts to the beauty in and around me. 
I give thanks to God for every little thing that brings me joy and life. Thus, I enlighten my thoughts. Riches surround me and I appreciate all that life brings me. Check it out. Use these affirmation, baby. Okay? Gratitude is key. Never stop. Look, check your beliefs and make sure they're in alignment with you. Especially with that projection card that came out. Those beliefs that you may have, some of you who this resonate with, those are not your beliefs. And they're not supported or alignment with you. And I feel like someone is like tied to like uh, people. Could be family. Could be friends. Could be a job. You're tied to something that you know that no longer serves you. But someone is, there's a belief inside you that feels that you have to stay there. You have to settle. I don't know where it came from, but it's not yours. Really take a look at it, okay? Let's see what messages in this deck Spirit would like to share with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hold on. Seven chakra, crown chakra, meditation and silence. I sit still in meditation regularly as I know there is power in silence. I seek out stillness during some part of every day. In silence, I am open to receive without asking and without expectation. In the silence, I will hear and see the truth. Rest, tranquility, and peace are rejuvenating in my spirit. Miraculous, emotional, mental, and physical healings are available when I am open to receive this. Open to receive is definitely coming through. I feel like somebody built walls up around their heart to protect them. This could be even playing out in your physical life with clutter and things. And maybe you built up a life that was uh, that, that you felt that would give you power, but it's not from your power. So it's not a life that uh, suit you, that brings you happy, that brings you joy. Maybe you're holding on to that, afraid to let go and walk away from it. Not everything may fall apart from that life, but you just have to trust the process and know that what does happen, it is happening for you. It will all work out because it's all working for you. Because I feel like someone's holding on to the post of their homes or something like that. Okay. So th that is meditation and silence. Hey, check it out down below in the description area. If you want to book a reading with me, or if you want to book a one-time session or join my coaching program, there are spaces available at this time. The information is down below in the description area. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're feeling the vibe, if you open up to the truth, and if you were divinely guided, here today and you receive some messages hit that like button and hit that subscribe button uh only if you feel in the vibe and i'm resonating with you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get all the newest videos that i drop and you'll join the pure clarity mindset family baby we the winning team you heard because we getting our mind right and it's changing our life and we changing inside of us okay all love and light right we're doing our best to keep this a very positive community but you know how it is but hey I'm grateful for the way that it is. Thank you all for being here today. I really appreciate you sharing your valuable time here with me. If you're on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually. Spiritual awareness, seventh chakra, crown chakra. When my mind sways negatively, I remind myself of love, truth, gratitude, and spirit. I am the observer of my thoughts, and I do not let them bring me down. I remind myself to have gratitude and acceptance for what is, and to have the courage of my convictions. I continually pursue a clear understanding of spiritual truths behind all that is and all that is unfolding. I ask myself, is what I'm thinking the truth? And is it having a positive or negative impact on me? Check it out. Check it out. Take it how it resonates. Lovely soul. Look, some of you set your boundaries. You may need to reset your boundaries as you are in a transition phase. Let's see from divine timing. Something that you've been wanting to come in. Let's see from divine time and when that is. And then we'll get your angel message and we'll go ahead and um, end the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see spirit. What messages with divine time and you like to share here with us today? I greatly appreciate you. Okay, let's get it, baby. Six months from now. Okay, refocus and stop waiting for it. Take it how it resonates. Stay positive about it. Okay, I heard it's already done, right? Release any attachment of timing. Look, for some of you, springtime. And look, I said something about October. Some of you, October, whatever resonates to you and how it resonates to you, just always be real and open to the truth, lovely soul. And let's tie it all together with an angel message. All right, angels. What message in this deck would you like to share today? Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. Thank you, divine master. Thank, thank masters. Thank you, spirit. Thank you all for your guidance, your support here today. I greatly appreciate you all. Now, as we tie this message together, what do the angels would like to share with us today? I appreciate you. That situation will improve, baby. Check it out. 
It will improve. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. It seemed like dark in this, in this, like our underworld, like, uh, our belly of the beast. It's giving me that, that, that feeling of like hell type stuff. So like shine your light, baby, the situation will improve and also take it how it resonates to you. Choose a new direction that definitely ties into the message of when someone felt stuck, dead, done, over, wherever they are. They just feel like that's the end of whatever that is. There's no moving forward. This ain't working. Okay. This is choosing a new direction. It's like walking in a, a room in circles, right? Doing that same thing. Choose a new direction in that form. And for others of you, this may be the clarity that you were looking for. Reconsider Archangel Michael. There's something that needs to be reconsidered. And I feel like it's definitely tied to your heart with the green flowing through right there. I love you all. Keep taking care of yourself. We are all in this together. We are all one. You are loved and keep nurturing yourself and keep vibing. Hi, baby. Till next time. Peace, love and light. Come back to see me. One love.